So to create a template in DocuSign for us to use uh, over and over, you have to sign into DocuSign. And from there, you click Templates. And then if, uh, if we're going to create a new one, we come over to New and say Create Template. Uh, we can then give it a title, and this will be the Emergency Center Peer Review. And then we need to upload a document. You can upload it from your computer, uh, or you can upload it from the cloud. And since we have everything in box, we can go there. And the one that we want is in templates and credentialing. And here it is, TEC Peer Review. So we add that one in. If there are multiple documents, you can add several. Uh, to create a, a combined template, but we're going to only use this one for now. And then you click Next. Well, I'm sorry, before that, we need to add recipients. And so we're going to call this role Peer Reviewer, and it can be whatever uh, role that you think is appropriate. It could be Applicant, Peer Reviewer, 360 Billing, anything along those lines. And if we leave the name and email blank, we can fill those in when we send it and then needs to sign us here. We're going to have a second recipient. And we'll call this credentialing. And we're going to put in Kim Acker. And so she will receive a copy. So when this is done, she will get an email that uh, this has been completed. So now we've added our recipients. We can add our message. Say, please complete attached peer review. And then next. So here's the Word document that we uploaded. Um, and then if we're going to create places where they can fill in, this is very easy. So applicant name, obviously that's a name, so we'll take the name field and we'll drag it up. The evaluator is also a name field, so we'll take that and drop another name field here. Title, since it's not a name, it's just text, we'll add text. Same with specialty. How long have you known the applicant? And that can just be a text. And we can increase the size of it by dragging this corner. Uh, would you like that we contact you directly? Let's make this a uh, yes, no drop down. So we'll click drop down, put that here under the first option. Yes, under the second option, no. Uh, let's reverse that, sorry. Let's make this yes and this one no. Then we need a contact phone number, so that will also be text. Here's another, do you feel the applicant represents values? Let's make that a drop down. Um, but there are also options for radio button, checklist, attachments, notes, approve and decline, and, and then uh, you can do custom fields and formulas. I'm going to keep it simple though. I will just do another drop down. This one will first be yes, and then no. Would you allow this applicant to care for your family? Rather than creating another drop-down, which I can do, I can just highlight this one. I can click Copy. And then if I click Paste, it appears here and I can move it. Do you feel the applicant has adequate medical knowledge? This is another yes, no. Since it's already copied, I'm just going to paste another one. And then here's a final one that's a yes, no, so I'll paste one more. All right, those are all set. Now we need to get a signature. So we just grab the signature field. And then here's a 
date signed. We'll put that over here on the date. Now our Word document is set for being completed. We say save and close. There we go. So when we want to use it, all we have to do is click use. And we type the name of the peer reviewer and that person's email and it is out the door. Easy as that.